here, it's Amelia bringing you another Microsoft PowerPoint video. In this video, I'll review some tips, tricks, and secrets in PowerPoint. Let's get started. So did you ever wish you can temporarily hide your presentation while presenting? You can, all you have to do is press B on your keyboard to change the screen to black while presenting. So I'll go ahead and press B. And as you could see, my screen turned black and then you can bring it back by hitting B again. Just remember B for black and B to bring it back. Next, while in slideshow mode, I'd like to show you how to use the electronic pen. If you need to annotate, just press Control P as in pen, and what happens is your mouse pointer changes into a pen. You can change the color as well. And if you need more information about how to use the pen and annotating while you're presenting, just go to my PowerPoint video number 13, which explains about slideshow setup and using all the features during a slideshow. When you want to advance a slide, you would just proceed as usual, and the pen will continue being available. Now, if you want to turn the pen off, just hit Control P again, and then your mouse pointer will change back to the normal view. Okay, and the next trick I'd like to show you is how to remove a background from an image. Now, you can certainly do this in more robust programs like Adobe Photoshop, but if you don't have those programs, then you could try it in PowerPoint. So on a blank slide, I've inserted an image which has a background and I'd like to remove the whole background. All you have to do is double click on an image and then click remove background. And when you do, it will first make an educated guess as to what you'd like to remove in the background. Now I'd like to include the picture of this phone plus the hand. So you have to experiment a little bit. Now if I go ahead and widen that range, okay, and I'm going to bring this up because I don't want the picture of the book there. And then what you can do is if part of the hand is hidden or not included, then you can go to the mark areas to keep and then select the area that you'd like to keep and that'll do. So finally you click keep changes and then right click and select save as picture and then when you save it make sure you use ping for the file format to preserve the transparent background. Next I'd like to point out three particular awesome templates that you're going to love. Now most of these are only available in either 2013 or a few couple are only available in 2016, but that would be all the more reason to upgrade or look into getting Office 365. So I clicked File New and I'm going to search in the search box for templates and type in Powerful Presentations. And when I do, there's this really, really cool template that I found here. I'm going to open it up and click Create. And this is available in PowerPoint 2013 and 2016. This template was created by Neil Creative and contains really cool special effects and a rich assortment of animated slides. I'll just give you a really quick sneak peek if I press F5 and start the slideshow. It has some really, really cool animation and it has information to help you while you're creating your presentation as well. And my second template that I'd like to show you, I'm going to go ahead and enter in the search box 3D PowerPoint presentation. Now this is available in starting in PowerPoint 2016. You want to click the one that says Hubble and click Create. This template shows a Hubble Space Telescope model with sample 3D views. It also explains how in Office 365, if you're a subscriber, you could add 3D models to documents and rotate the angle to show different views. Really, really cool. And I'll go ahead and show you the slideshow.
Okay, and for the third template I'd like to show you, I'm going to search for statistics info graphics. This one has some awesome graphics that are available. I'll go ahead and open that and click create. So the first slide is like a preview of some of the other slides, but if you go to the particular slides that have all the cool graphics, you could see everything that's available and you could certainly lever leverage this for some of your slideshows and you could use some of the graphics that are available. And next, I'd like to discuss grouping and ungrouping objects in templates. So for certain templates, like some of the ones in this particular template, you could ungroup some of the more complex graphics to customize for your presentations. For example, in this particular slide, if I right click, this appears to be one image, but if you right click on the edge and click group ungroup, now you may need to ungroup more than once. And now you can see that all the different elements of that image are ungrouped. So you can use any of the pieces that you want. So for example, if you just need this particular graphic, it's available for you to uh, cut or copy and paste. Next, I'd like to point out some extra features that are available with the Office 365 subscription service. So if you are considering upgrading to a new version of Office, an alternative to purchasing or upgrading a full version would be to subscribe to the Office 365 subscription service. Now there are some advantages because if you have the Office 365 subscription, it will uh, always provide the latest version of Office to you and it has some really cool bonus features. One cool bonus feature I like is the morph transition and uh, to take a peek at what's available there's some information if you search in templates and just plug in Office 365 there's uh, some templates that come up and the way I found morph was I went into the take a tour slideshow and let me go ahead and create it so we can see it a little larger and the morph feature was actually over here the morph feature is pretty cool you can uh, use it to uh, create smooth animations and object movements in your presentation you use two similar slides to perform the animation with the same graphics in different places and then the morph will kind of switch them uh, again the morph is only available through the subscription service through Office 365. Next I'd like to point out some function key shortcuts. These are shortcuts that have been around forever but unless you use them all the time they may be ones that you have forgotten about or don't know that they're available. For instance to get help anytime you could press F1 and I do like the new tell me what you want to do up in here but I really prefer using the uh, good old-fashioned help which you can just search and get exactly what you need here in the help pane. Another handy function key to instantly start your slideshow is F5. Anytime you want to start your slideshow from the beginning you could press F5 but I escaped out of there because I want to show you if you wanted to start the slideshow instantly from this particular slide you hit shift F5 and that would start your slideshow specifically from that particular slide. Finally I wanted to mention about another shortcut key F12. Now a lot of us save with control S to quickly save your presentation but if you need to jump to the file save as dialog box say to make a copy of your presentation or supply a new name just press F12 anytime and that will display the Save As dialog box. And next I'd like to point out some keyboard shortcuts that are available. Control A is pretty universal for Select All and you can use it a couple different ways in PowerPoint. If you're uh, on the left here and you had clicked on a particular thumbnail, when you hit Control A it can be used to select all thumbnail slides. However, if you're on your slide and you have a particular object selected when you hit control A you'll be able to select all objects on your slide. Also uh, there's some universal keyboard shortcuts like control B for bold 
after you have some text selected. There's Control C for copy, Control D for duplicate, which is really handy if you want to quickly duplicate the selected object or slide thumbnail. So for example, if I'm just clicked on a thumbnail and I hit Control D, I can duplicate that particular slide. Or if I have a particular object selected and I hit Control D, it will just keep duplicating that particular object. There's also Control F, which is pretty universal for searching, and I like that shortcut even outside of Microsoft Office. There's also Control H for search and replace. Control I is italics. Control K is hyperlink. Control N will start a new blank presentation. So if I hit Control N, it's the same as hitting File, New. Control O will go to the either the open dialog box in older versions or it will proceed to file open and open the new pane in newer versions of PowerPoint. Control Q is close and will of course ask you if you want to save if you haven't saved it. The next one is Control T to display the font dialog box and this is handy if you're in a particular text box and you have some text selected you can just hit Control T and that will display the font dialog box, which it gives you more than just font options, gives you a whole lot of other choices here. And we all know Control V is paste, and finally Control Z is undo. Next, I'd like to show you some additional keyboard shortcuts from within a text box. So if you're inside of a text box, to go to the beginning of the line, you could hit the home key. If to go to the end of the line, you could hit the end key. To quickly navigate to the very top of the text box, you can hit Control Home. To move to the end of the text box, hit Control End. And finally, I'd like to show you some of my favorite mouse shortcuts. From inside of a text box, double click to select a word, triple click to select the whole paragraph. Now from outside a text box, let's just say we're on the left on the thumbnails, Another mouse trick I like is control click to select non-adjacent thumbnails. So if I hit control here and here, I can select non-adjacent thumbnails. If I want to select a range of thumbnails, I click on the one, hold the shift key down and click on another thumbnail. And one of my favorite mouse shortcuts within PowerPoint is instead of Alt-Tab, which will flip between all your windows, not just PowerPoint, if you have multiple PowerPoint files open, you can just hit control tab and that will flip just between your PowerPoint files. Well, that's it for today's video. If you found this video helpful, please leave a comment below. If you like this video, please click like. If you like my channel, please click subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.